Hello, and welcome to the Academic Center for Writing presentation on choosing the right word. It is very important in college writing to use the correct words to get your point across. Words have shades of meaning, and choosing the wrong words can change the meaning of your writing. Connotation is the meaning that we give to a word through emotional, social, or political associations. Denotation is the dictionary meaning of a word. The first example, dog, is the connotation, the picture you have in mind. This might be a dog you have in your backyard, or one that bit you. The second example, is the denotation taken from the American Heritage Dictionary. Even though these words mean essentially the same thing, skinny has a negative meaning, thin has a neutral meaning, and slender has a positive meaning. Euphemisms are words that try to say something that might seem harsh or blunt, in a milder or more polite way. Do not use euphemisms in college writing. These are some examples of euphemisms. In college writing, use the term you want to use. Specific words refer to particular things. General words refer to entire groups or classes of things. Use general words to describe groups and use specific words to clarify the general words. Abstract words are things that cannot be perceived by the five senses. Concrete words are things that can be perceived by the five senses. Concrete words, when used correctly, can make writing more meaningful, and evoke stronger emotions in your reader. Synonyms are words which have similar meanings, but not exactly the same meaning. Be careful when choosing a synonym for a word, because it might change what you're trying to say. Here are some examples of synonyms. While joy and happiness have similar meanings, they're not exactly the same. So think about which one fits best what you are trying to convey. The same idea applies to hate and loathing, as well as quiet and silence. Thank you for watching this video. For questions about this or any other writing topic, please come by the Ink Spot, the Academic Center for Writing, in room W114. Thanks again for watching.